We got socks. Ready to drive, what is it, a thousand miles today? How many miles today? I don't know, as many as we can do. Probably not a thousand. So the main goal is to make sure that we have everything we need. Start with some water. See how that's doing. Going. So we gotta be fully charged. We have to have a full tank of water, which is 32 gallons for us. It'll last us about a week. We wanna be able to get back to Erie without having to stop anywhere for water, electricity, anything. Laundry basket. Yeah, I gotta do the laundry. That's little clusters over here. Well, look at him. Wow, babe. That's gorgeous. Turn off that light. This down is always better, because this is gonna fall 100%. It's just on wheels, so it's gonna move. I hear ya. I guess that's fine. That's better. That's smart. Nicolette's smarter than me. Normally I put the air conditioner down because it's on wheels. She wedged it with the laundry basket. It just shows you can be creative. And then if that's you want to bring the trash up front, that way down there and right there. You can get rid of it easier. Get rid of bottom, the trash. I really it. And I think that's it. Recycling, cool crystals. All right, buckle up. Now that we got all the trash done, Nicolette and I haven't had coffee or breakfast because we haven't bought coffee yet. So I think part of the goal is to get some of that. This is how we travel. You guys have been on this whole journey with us through the good and the bad, through the van build, through the exciting times, and through my health issues. So I thought I would fill you guys in on a little bit of what has been going on and what happened in Texas, why we're not receiving care in Texas anymore, and what our plan is going forward. A little breakfast. Mm -hmm. Finally got my breakfast. <laughs> we saved some money today, huh? Nicolette ordered hers from her app, and then I downloaded the app to save money too. Mm -hmm. So, don't go to McDonald's without the app. Yeah, don't go to McDonald's without the app. We know these aren't the most thrilling or exciting vlogs. I mean, in between all of these clips, we're driving hundreds of miles to get to a destination where Nicolette doesn't have a guaranteed doctor. So, it, it's a little nerve wracking, but we know we're gonna get it. Fingers crossed that I can find a good doctor, you guys. A lot of you have been so supportive and Brian and I both appreciate that so much. While there are some people that have some mean things to say, I do realize that those people are just probably hurting in some form and I don't take it personally. Really, I just focus on all of you great people that support me. And just give me that oomph to keep going and I really appreciate that. My goal is to help anyone see that through any experience, you can live your life, you can love yourself, and you can do what you love. And I'm not gonna stop doing that, even when it's hard. Cause believe me, it's been hard. So we were getting care in Texas. My insurance normally does not cover any other state. So it was hard for me to get anything covered in Texas. They do cover ER visits across the whole nation, so, 
the only reason I was able to get my wound care covered in Texas was going to an ER and then ultimately them referring me to a wound care center stating this is an emergency because it was. Without saying too much, ultimately there were some discrepancies in my care that I had tried to address and due to that I was you know, I was discharged from their care and they kind of just gave me a letter when I showed up to my hyperbaric appointment one day and just said, you know, here you go, goodbye, sayonara. And I didn't have any discharge instructions. They did not tell me what to do or where to go or anything like that. So Brian and I packed up the van, got ready and drove 1200 miles. Look at that behind you. This road isn't too good, so I'm letting people pass me because it's it's actually a pretty bumpy back road. So I'm letting them pass. I'd rather not have people upset that we're going slow. So I let them pass and we go at our own pace because it's better to go at your own pace and get to your destination than to rush and be injured or you know have a bad issue. So a lot of people are probably concerned that Nicolette can't sit in the front right now. It's not something I love, but the kind of driver I am is a very cautious, very defensive driver. So that is one benefit. I mean, accidents do happen, but the truth is um, I just drive cautious by nature. So that's one benefit for this is she's in good hands. Knock on wood. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? It's so laundry's warm and comforting. There you go. You need some comfort after your new wound care appointment and realizing you need to get a third opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating. Um, don't ever look at a website when you're looking for health care. Just don't even look at their website. It's going to misdirect you. And that's what happened to us coming here to Erie, looked at a website and I thought, wow, that sounds really promising. And then I get there and it's just like a completely different experience. It's like a veterinarian center. Talking about when I'm mentioning things that they're quoting on their website. They specialize so, in like horses and Yeah, they specialize pigs. in, I'm joking. you know, totally cutting edge treatments with tissue regrowth and all these regenerative therapies, but they don't specialize in any That's of what that. they said, yeah. So. Well, let's go uh, chill by the lake. So yeah, now Does today we're just good? gonna chill by the lake and freeze our butts off because it's a little cold today, but we'll enjoy that. We're gonna go. And find a new doctor.
Nicolette and I are currently in Erie. We made it safely. <laughs> we are here, which is exciting. It, it was a long trip. It was stressful. It's not like, you know, we have a real medical transport and that's kind of what Nicolette required. She cannot sit up front. But right now we're laying on the beach of a great lake, which is kind of crazy. Looks like an ocean. It's beautiful but out here. It's awesome. So we just wanted to touch base a little bit. Our plan was to leave Amarillo travel the 1200 miles or whatever it is thousand it was about 1200 1200 1300 miles get to erie and by the time we arrived nicolette needed to have an appointment set up with another wound care center which i was able to do i did a lot of research for a couple of days and just kind of yeah. like tried to find a place where it would be good for us to have the van convenient beautiful good for mental health and that seemed really reputable and I did a lot of research looking online and ended up picking a terrible place. <laughs> well, she didn't pick a terrible place. She picked a place that would be right over the border and somewhere she was really considering the van and where we're parked because mental health is important. But the place she picked, it just seems, you know, like it's it's not as advanced as one that we've experienced before. And it's just not, it's too small town. So we're not going to stick with it. Nick led talk to her insurance. They said she can get as many second opinions as she needs. She can't go to two doctors at once, but she can get second opinions and then pick a doctor. I already have a couple more appointments lined up and I'm just gonna pick my favorite out of the next two and just go with that. I picked something more bigger city, inner city, so that the doctors are better. And it's that's true. just the way it works. When there's a bigger hospital, there's usually better healthcare. Yeah, and our main goal until her appointment, she has like a week or so, is basically just make sure she's okay medically. And besides that, just have a good time. Uh, we're trying to find ways for her to be able to be off bed rest and experience, you know, life normally. Taking longer than expected. So we need to find ways to be able to still live our lives. And because I don't want to just stop my life. And that's kind of what they expect me to do. I'm not going to like get up and go in my chair and make everything worse, but we are going to we're going to invent new ways to just live life. life. Yeah, live life and make it our normal. But our normal is not going to be just in the van 24 seven until Nick lets better. So that's why we're on the beach today. We're going to start finding ways to do our own way. We're going to start finding ways to get into nature again and be able to move around in nature. So if we're, if we're able to build a van, we can build a way to make this happen safely. So um, that that's to basically it. To make it as it. enjoyable as possible and just make the absolute best of it. Cause that's kind of what this channel is about is just making the best of everything. So that's what we're gonna do. So we wanted to update you and we wanted to bring you kind of along our 1200 mile journey here. Kind of sucks to like go so fast and not be able to stop and smell all the roses, which is what I like to do. But we did make a few stops and they were great. Like the St. Louis Arch and- We're just appreciative that we made it safe and that we're here. We don't quit. We never will. Nicolette and I will live our life to the fullest, but we'll stay safe while doing it. And we're just excited to have you guys along and all your support from the comments earlier in the video. Um, I mean, I couldn't get to all of them. There's so many comments that are so supportive of Nicolette and myself, and we just appreciate you all so much. And we see them all, even if we don't get to respond to all of them. So it's a, it's been a harder time. Yeah, we appreciate everyone following along on our journey and being so sweet and supportive, truly. Here.